today we've assembled all the building trades unions. So we've got all the apprenticeship people here from all the unions, all the building trades. Get something hands-on to engage the kids. And I've invited schools from about 50 different school districts around central Illinois. So uh, this morning we had uh, 700 and some kids in here. This afternoon we've had about 450 kids uh, just introducing themselves to the trade unions, figuring out what it takes to get in the trade if they are interested in it, and just basically learn about apprenticeship and how that works. I'm Austin Sidlow. I'm 17. I go to Lanfear High School. Okay. We're learning the different trades and as us as, as seniors going to go into the workforce and the work world, we get to experience all like the common trades that we might be able to run into or what we might do and giving us a first hand experience and like hands on learning and see, showing us what they do and how we might be able to do it for to succeed in life. The ride is going to be your travel forward forward and reverse. Okay. Well basically we've brought out a scissor lift. I'm going to put it in the platform. Okay. Go ahead and operate the safety switch, take it all the way up and bring it back down. And we're uh, teaching the students a little bit about using tools for the train. Okay. These tools are used uh, on a daily basis usually for uh, safety purposes. So they asked us to bring out display and we started uh, showing the students how to use them. This is a locking thing, so you got to push that to open it up. I think it gives them a, an opportunity to look at different um, careers. Once you get signed up with the apprenticeship program, um, they'll give you a list of contractors or you'll have to meet with your business agent. There is a high percentage of females. Um, there's absolutely nothing in the trades that a female can't do. It, Unfortunately, there's that perception that they, uh, they're they such a minority in the field that they don't feel like they're going to be successful at it. I personally feel like they can be as successful as anybody. They just got to put their mind to it and want to do it. I think this helps us see and feel how comfortable we are with like working on what we think our strong suits and our weak suits are. But uh, most of all, like, it helps us see what we're good at and, like, what we think we would like to do and test what we want to do in life. I think it gives them a, an opportunity to look at different uh, careers, you know, to choose a career while they're in high school to be able to decide what they really want to do. I think it's a, I think it's a good thing that the, that the uh, uh, local unions have put on here. I feel what's happening right now is, is our education system does not expose them to all their options. The, the uh, building trades apprenticeships are an awesome option for people who want to maybe not pursue the traditional education, aren't really good in the classroom, and they can uh, get right to work and, and have a productive uh, income.